Okay, so today I'm at Silverado Ranch Park, which is right across the street and down the road a mile from our casino South Point. So my goal is today to put on, like do a four mile walk. There's a lot of little areas um, here. This is like a little dog area for dogs to run. Not a lot of people out here today. There's some kids playing baseball though. But as you can see, this is a really, really nice park. And right over there, over the trees, you can see South Point. So I technically could have probably walked here, but I drove over here anyhow. So if I come across anything exciting, I will let you know. Today we plan on going, um, after uh, Ralph gets done working, we're gonna get a bite to eat and probably head downtown to Four Queens to do some gambling. We haven't played there much in the year over the years, but we're here for several days, so we thought we'd give that a try. So I wanted to share with you a little bit more of my park experience. This park is pretty big, but it's three quarters of a mile if you walk around the perimeter of the park using its trails. And um, it's all paved, which is good. And this is how close we are to South Point, which is really unbelievable how close it is. I could probably walk over here, it's probably two miles, and then walk around this track a couple times and go back. That would have probably been smarter, but because it's so hot out, I brought a lot of water. So um, I had two waters already, and I'm halfway through my Powerade, and I'll be heading back to the car. So let me show you this side of the park. There are soccer fields here, two of them, three baseball fields, a lot of little play areas like this, a lot of pavilions. There's some basketball courts and horseshoe pits. One thing that's very um, cool too is a lot of the trees that were planted here were planted in memory of somebody. So at the base of the trees they have these plaques which um, kind of tell who donated it and you know the um, person who passed on. So I thought that was interesting. But I have gone 3.6 miles, it's probably 0.2 miles back to my car, and I'm going to call it good. I'm not going to make it probably four miles today like I wanted to, but walking to and from the car in the hotel room, that'll equal the four miles. That's how I look at it, because it's awful hot out here. It's only like 10.30 or something. I normally get out earlier and um, exercise before it gets this hot. So we are at South Point, and I wanted to show you guys the um, exhi ex Exhibition Hall Arena. It's where they do the horse shows and those types of things. There are um, a lot of horse activities, rodeos and whatnot here, and we'll see what's going on tonight up there. So. Um, one thing that South Point is known for is they have a horse stable here, and the horse stable is the only horse stable in the world that is air conditioned, which is great for the horses. The exhibition hall and arena up here is also air conditioned. So it's kind of a, a neat thing that South Point has. Of course, it brings in a ton of people. And it looks like there is something going on today because it is open so we'll go in there and see what's going on and then I can show it to you. So up here is where they have all of their um, rooms where they have meeting rooms and stuff and conventions and there's been like craft shows and things here in the past. And there's also a bar over here so if you're thirsty you can grab a drink. There's some pastries over there. What? Oh, and there's Krispy Kreme donuts over there. Ralph just mentioned that. He, he must have seen them from this far away. <laughs> and over to the left here is their um, bowling area. And they have a um, professional bowling alley in there so they get professional bowlers. But what I wanted to do was show you guys this arena where they have the horse stuff going on. And of course they're selling all kinds of horse stuff like looks like cowboy hats and leather stuff and things for your horses stuff that we know nothing about. So let's walk through here. Oh, they have like really fancy clothes for the the horse Bling. people must wear. Very blingy. Check that out. It's really cool. A rhinestone, actually. Yeah, a lot of rhinestone. Oh, here's one in my favorite color. The teal up there. Very cool. 
And we're gonna go over here and I wanna show you guys the pavilion. Because it is very big. And there are a lot of horses down there doing stuff right now, so maybe it's something exciting. Or they're just practicing for some kind of show or something. See the different horses? And this pavilion is huge. You can walk all the way around it also. See how big it is. So you can walk, come in here and watch them. Let me see if I can zoom in on some of it. They must be just exercising their horses down there. Oh, okay. In the other, a lady just told us there's another arena that is, um, has horse shows going on. So we're going to walk over to the other arena and see what's going on over there. So I'll get over there quickly and I'll show you all the stuff here that they're selling. Look at all those saddles. Those are really cool. Very, very fancy. I think the only thing they're still Cool, cool, cool. They must be selling those. Get custom made uh, stuff. Pretty neat. They do pictures on wood. Look at that. That is really cool. Cool. Thank you so much. So here's where the other arena is where they're doing some shows. A lady just let us know, which was very nice of her. We've noticed that in Vegas this trip. Um, people have been super duper nice more so than other trips i don't know if that's because that happened with covid or what well i'm not supposed to stand up here but here's another arena and i'm not supposed to stand up here with it and i'm not going to stay here but they're doing a show over there I'll walk down there a little bit so you guys can see it So it's over there where it's set up. Doing a little competition. <laughs> 